this is a piece of reinforcement. You can discount my reinforcement all you want, but as you can see, it doesn't take much to make that act as a uh, as a as a um, contributing factor. Okay. Remember, I I've always said that uh, or our standard position that ball number one rebar. Uh, I'm sorry, number eight rebar. Um, I also think that that's contributed to the failure. Um, we've got a hairline crack here. Now here we go here. Hairline. We've got a crack there. Um, here we go again. It's, it's blowing through this uh, this part here. But significantly, notice where this uh, post tensioning cable is. Number eleven goes up like this, right? Diagonal. And this would be the underside, and this would be the top side, tip the sky side. The underside is where this cable is in relationship to the uh, number 11, how it's embedded. Now, I'm going to just go up to about 223, but you're going to take note of uh, right here is where the rest of this cover would be. This is this part would, would go there. Let's, let's say this rib part matches up with that rib part. The balance of that cover is about three to four inches. So it was not centered at all, this, uh, this cable. This is my concern. Um, i not getting carried away with that. This is my concern. This cable, this number one uh, rebar. I, I show video, I have a video where I'm showing how I can break up a sidewalk using the knowledge of knowing where the rebar um, uh, reinforcement is. Because of the void it creates, it creates a nice, perfect um, um, void that I tap into. We're getting close now. So here's the, uh, again, a rebar reinforcement over here where it was, this number one. Um, I'm going to explain how I think that helped the failure. We can we know the failure is not only behind this rebar. So wait till I get the 223 here. It's not behind the rebar. It's, uh, well, it's all contributing, but it's not behind it. It's on the other side of it. Now, this is what I'm concerned about right here. So now that's where the uh, one inch rebar is. That's where the cable is. Um, now it blew through all this. This under compression, this column under compression, it's diagonal. Um, well, the cable, the cable will get tighter. It will put pressure on this cable, uh, on this concrete to, to compress it. But more significantly, the steel um, won't compress. It's, this steel won't compress. It's confined. It can't compress, right? It's, it's confined in round, concrete around it. So it's going to take the load. And what's um, I'm going to show you guys. If this is the uh, rebar, the reinforcement inside that column, how if it's not straight, um, the even under, com under compression, um, if, the, if it's not straight, so if it's leaning this way, and you put it in the compression, look what it will do. Happen. It's going to um, buckle. When it buckles, it's going to create a force, a moment um, that that lines up. It appears with the entire failure of this concrete. Any any leaning of it, any offset of it, will create the pressure to go towards that direction. Um, there's looks like the other version of the one inch on this side. This this cable being so close to this one inch uh, reinforcing rebar under tension I under compression um, once you tension this cable um, I think created the uh, buckling effect with mind you with this though one more factor that is going to create the buckling so much you know create it so much more easily with everyone uh, that's the failure under here Let's see if I can find a better shot of that that's the failure under there all right so that's the failure under here. If that 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 reinforcement, the uh, post tension cables, is down here. So when you go to crank this column up, instead of it being in the middle and giving it an, an equal, fair, um, balanced compression, it's at the bottom half of this uh, column. And under compression, um, it makes being on the bottom half. It's pulling from the bottom half of it. It's uh, easily. Um, easily, I'll keep that word, created um, a, a moment, a bowing, a uh, flex, a, a, a partial, a, a buckle, a twist. Um, you have to look at the videos. I mean, the, when it did, I saw it flex in the video, slowing it down high speed. And you can see my other videos. 
it's the first thing I saw. Um, so this blew out. And if we can get more video, we can show it blowing out in the air um, or blowing out. Um, well, it might have blown out when it hit the ground too, but that what it has in common is that the steel, the reinforcement is down here, the entire one inch. Um, I think help causes failure. Everything's on that one, on that one, that wedge, that one inch, I'm calling it one inch, the number eight uh, um, rebar reinforcing is just perfectly lined up. It's on the bottom of this guy, um, and that tension caused the uh, compression, caused the uh, deflection. Okay, I like that even better. It will bow out in that direction. Any, any leaning of it, any offset of it, will create the pressure to go towards that direction. Okay, and now this is encased in concrete, so it won't be as much as if it was um, towards the outside edge of the column and pushing the pressure. It's not going to, uh, when, they, when they start tensioning the column, it's not going to compress. It's going to create a load inside this rebar um, that's going to want to flex out. It's going to want to blast out. You just can't create compression on that rebar and it not have a force that is trying to uh, and it not have a force that is trying to resolve um, to come back to neutral so the more pressure you put on this rebar the more it's going to flex as you can see this is a uh, more pressure I put the more it's going to flex it's and as I release the pressure of course it wants to re it can it can return but uh, you know beyond a point um, it's not going to be flexible indefinitely you can do it, uh, it's no longer plastic. So, here we are here. So here's the pressure on the rebar, creating that outward force. They can create, they can create the break. Um, and that's what I see as a concern with the, uh, with the rebar. So now I have a piece of a uh, number four rebar. And I'm gonna put load of my body weight on it. And as you can see, it flexes out. It flexes out. That's so I want you to imagine that my body is the top of the uh, canopy. This um, steel uh, rebar is the uh, column, the number 11, and the ground is the, uh, the base. Now, my, my angles are off, but nevertheless, as if you look at the shadow, my hand's creating the, uh, the tension, if you will, um, the, acting as the uh, tensioner. And when it does that, it causes the column, the, the rebar in the column even, to, to buckle. Um, that forces right there participate, um, contribute to the failure of the column. Um, once you start tensioning the cables, I say this compression, this, this will not compress, so this will um, buckle. And when it does that, it can help burst out the back side of the, uh, of the entire um, column. And what you saw in the video, the column does have the, uh, the, the it looks like a you know, number one or greater uh, piece of reinforcement, I'm sorry, one inch or number eight um, piece of reinforcement or greater there, and it left a beautiful pocket just where it came out of the uh, cable, where the cables uh, were located. So we get the pressure, we get the pressure, that blows, that creates that, that creates that, uh, it creates a moment inside the, inside the rebar itself, is what I'm saying, is a defect, is a defect of compressing Compressing a uh, compressing a column with reinforcement in line with the um, the, comp the compression is just it's just contrary to to it's just contrary to what you want to resolve. You're creating um, you're, you're crushing a column that works under compression, and then you're trying to crush steel that resists once in, in once is encased that resists compression at that case um, but more so it's more about tension but it then blows out so that's that so now let's use this as that reinforcement again um, so here's our reinforcement this is a round column as opposed to square but nevertheless you'll get an idea of what uh, even though the concrete's encapsulating it um, once the load see the load once the load of the cable this helps you visualize what's going on inside there with the uh, with the reinforcement that it's it's gonna buckle in itself 
this is going to buckle at one rate. Your steel is going to buckle at another rate um, based on its compression ability and that length of that column, the offset of the uh, of the actual tensioning cable, and the offset of of the actual um, reinforcement. All of them reacting in their own different moments. All obviously creating a bending moment at the underside, uh, at the top side of the column, and putting the underside of the column in tension, along with this guy assisting in the, uh, I think assisting in the brake.